I was taught growing up that the only way to get a good career was to go to college and get a degree. And then in that process, the trades, these were only for the flunkies. Thinking back, it makes me ask myself, do I flunk college again to live the life of the trades? And sadly, to be looked at by some family to just be another drug case. Would I start in HVAC again if I had to go back? You see, I was not very good at school. At best, I was a B- to a C- student. Every once in a blue moon, I might get lucky and squeeze in an A. And specifically on my dad's side of the family, nobody had ever gone to college and actually come out with a degree. My dad himself, while started in college, ended up going into the military before he finished. This added a lot of pressure because my family had this idea that I had to do this in order to improve what my family needed. Now, what I wanted to do was either be a farrier or go be a welder or even a history teacher, there is a funny story, or a car mechanic. I, I even spent some time working as a mechanic with my uncle in his shop. But my parents didn't want any of this. They were very adamant that I either become a lawyer, a doctor, or maybe even an engineer. But being from a family of tradesmen, I grew up in the trades. And this is what really spoke to me. This is what I wanted. I did try to go to college at one point, and in the process, all I did was flunk out. So I went to Laterno University for a computer science degree. No idea what I was gonna do with it, but I tried. Ultimately, after failing, I ended up stumbling into the HVAC, and this, this is where I found my footing. But ultimately, it was a struggle. I really had to fight my way through I had to deal with a lot of bad bosses, jealous technicians, and it is a lot of long hours. And the way that I went about it, there wasn't really that many people around teaching and telling me how I can do this better. But through all of it, the combination of the science and the mechanics just really captured me and it was just, I just couldn't let go. It was a physical science that I could put my hands to and actually practice and use in a real way. And it wasn't all just based off of pure theory and definitions. And after being freshly married, this was my opportunity to just double down and go for it. So I started off in residential, just working on houses, regular split systems. That opened an opportunity to get into some light commercial work and doing a little bit larger systems which then opened the door to get into low temp and ice machines and really kind of grew the scale of the commercial I was seeing. It was at this phase that I actually ended up getting back into school, but not regular school. I ended up going to a really good trade school and I did this at night while I was in this sector. And because of this opportunity to get into this school, I ended up getting into heavy commercial. And this is where my doors went wide open. You see, it was while I was in heavy commercial that I learned VRF and centrifugal chillers. And these are the two specialties that have done the most for my career and has helped me set my family on a new path. So it was not easy and I took a lot of really hard knocks along the way, but would I do it again? Absolutely, because it really made me a lot of who I am and I could not imagine not having gotten into this trade. Now one disclaimer I have to throw out there is I do have a survivorship bias. Like yeah I had success and I did really well but an alternative path that I see a lot of people have amazing success with in this industry is working facilities, working as an engineer overseeing these plants and these sites and all of the skills we learn here in HVAC directly apply to most everything you're going to use here. One of the huge prerequisites that they want getting into that as an alternative career is having HVAC schooling and background and knowledge. So even if you didn't make it in HVAC or this just wasn't your fit, there are many doors that it can open for you to still have a great future. Do you want to work in HVAC systems? Whether you're thinking about getting in the trade or whether you're thinking about improving your education, then one of my friends, Grant, has an option for you I think you should hear out. He will take you through the process on how to become an HVAC technician or improve your education with a step-by-step -step process 
that could get you as little as four months if you stay really dedicated. He's going to take you through how to start your career and advance faster. He's going to discuss how to get the right training and build a really strong resume. And he's going to reveal how you can get a university certificate to be an HVAC technician through this process. So if you'd like to get started in the trade, you can access the video at becomehvactech.com. Go check out my tech guides. I've got a few of them over on the website now and we have more in development. There's also some tech sheets. So the tech sheets are like a quick reference guide. The, the actual tech guides are there to help you learn how to do specific tasks. Thank you to our sponsor Preppy for sponsoring this video and just being a partner to the brand. If you are looking for online training, you know, they are a real option that I can stand behind. With that, MTT, please make the time for your spouse, for your family, and for your loved ones.